get your thoughts on the rest of the receiving core in comparison to what we saw on the last two drives against Alabama last year. And I believe that one of the great reasons that Clemson won this game, in addition to Sean Watson, was the remarkable uh, ball skills of Mike Williams in particular, but the wide receiver core as a whole. They were playing an elite defensive backfield, NFL defensive backs, top to bottom, every spot. And they high-pointed the football, outfought defenders for the football, made the plays that they needed to make in tight coverage down the stretch. And whether these guys are capable of making those kind of plays, I'm sure that they're capable athletically, but they're going to have to possibly make similar plays to pull this game out. What's your, just like you said, Mike Williams isn't there anymore. Jordan Leggett isn't there anymore. That's actually one of the positions that's been sorely lacking from last year's team has been the tight end position. But sticking to that that wide receiver core, it's been inconsistent this year. Uh, Deion Kane has shown flashes. He's certainly your downfield threat. You know, he has the speed and can break it past any guy in the country. I don't know if you're going to see it against Alabama because Alabama plays that nickel defense, and they always have those two deep safeties. And you better believe that, hey, if Clemson's going to take some shots down the field, it's going to go to Deion Kane. So unless you catch Alabama in a blitz, Deion Kane over the top isn't going to be much of a possibility. Uh, on the other side of the ball, you have Ray Ray McLeod. Ray Ray, uh, again, a, a bit inconsistent, but he's he's been a little more cons- consistent than Deion Kane. Uh, he's shown great hands. He runs his his route running has actually been remarkable this year. I think that's probably one of the biggest improvements of a Clemson wide receiver is Ray Ray's route running abilities. He's shown good hands, but he's he's been relegated to the the jet sweep at times just because of his playmaking ability. Out of that. I'd like to see them develop him more as a wide receiver. Uh, One thing that Dabo Sweeney prefers to do with his wide receivers, and you're going to see this uh, during the semifinal game against Alabama, is he has his his core group of wide receivers, Deion Kane, Ray River Cloud, McLeod, and Hunter Renfro. Uh, Through certain series, you will not see any of them. He likes to rotate his second team on to make sure they get get their plays, and that's TJ Chase, that's T. Higgins, that's Amari Rogers, and there's a bevy of of wide receiver talent at Clemson. Receivers that has emerged over the past couple of weeks is freshman, um, you know, T. Higgins. He's the guy that, I, and I think you're going to see a lot of him in the national championship game. He's the six foot four receiver who can potentially go up and make that Mike Williams play. Now, I don't know if he's going to do it because I think you're going to have Mika Fitzpatrick on him in that situation. And I think if Clemson wants to win this game, you don't throw the ball anywhere near Mika Fitzpatrick. He's one of the best cornerbacks I've seen in Alabama in quite some time. Uh, but I think you're going to see a heavy rotation of T. Higgins. He has the ability to take the roof off of the defense. Uh, he's the other deep threat you're going to have to look for. And you're going you're gonna to want to see if a true freshman can come out and make an impact in the college football semifinal.